rational numbers or the rational number set. So this is defined with a capital Q. And this particular set is a little bit harder to define. So now, before actually providing kind of a formal definition, let me just simply tell you how you can recognize rational numbers. So rational numbers includes all your natural numbers, it includes all your whole numbers, and it includes all your integers. And you can watch the accompanying videos for those if you like, if you can't remember what those are. Now, what else does it include? Well, we, for convenience, often write numbers in certain representations. And one of the most common representations is the decimal notation. So we write decimals as powers of 10. And when you write out the decimals, for most part, our decimals that we have that are rational are any decimals that actually end, which means they do not go on forever. So if I write a decimal, and let's say it's 2.137, that would be considered rational because it ends at the 7 right there and it doesn't continue. And this is actually why all your natural numbers, whole numbers, and integers are also rational because they actually never end. So for instance, negative 5, which is an integer, ends, okay, and it does not go on forever, which makes it irrational. Now, another way of representing rationals, this one is a little bit trickier, is when you have decimals that actually do go on forever, but they have a special characteristics. They have a repeating pattern. So they have a repeating pattern. And now notice the other thing that these can be both positive or negative. So here, this can be a negative number and it can also be a positive number. So now, what are some examples of these numbers that go on forever and have a repeating pattern? Well, one example, which is a very common example, okay, might be this one, 0 0.333, and this goes on forever. The repeating pattern okay, is just the 3, because that's the only thing that really just repeats for us here. Okay, So we have that 3 that is repeating. So instead of writing these decimals here, we like to simply write this as 0 0.3, and we will put a bar, and that bar represents the pattern that is being repeated. Now, the pattern doesn't have to be just one number. So, for instance, as I said, it could be a negative, and let's say I have 25.4, and then all of a sudden I see 7, 3, 7, 3, 7, 3, and it goes on forever. So, my pattern here, which is the 7, 3, right there, is repeating. So I would write this as simply negative 25.4. Notice that does not repeat, so it stays. And then the 7, 3, I put a bar over both because that's exactly what happens with the repetition. So these particular decimals go on forever and have a repeating pattern. So if you have a number which is a decimal that ends or that goes forever and repeats, then it is considered rational. Now, another form of writing these rational numbers, which a lot of people may know, is actually fractions. And that will bring us to the definition of a rational. So a fraction is basically some number A over some number B, 
where the A is your numerator and your B is your denominator. Now there's something special that has to happen about A and B in order for this to work. So let me write it in here. So what has to happen is that your A has to be an integer. And now remember that integers, you can go back to watch the video on integer. So that is all your negative whole numbers and all your positive whole numbers with the number zero attached. So that has to be true about A. Now, if you look at B, it also has to be an integer. But, and this is a huge but, but B cannot be zero. So it cannot be zero. So we can't divide by zero. For instance, you can't have an integer, random integer, let's say 112, and go about and say over zero. This would not be rational. But if you would write 111, say over some other integer, say like four, this would be rational because the top is an integer and the bottom is an integer and not zero. This, however, is not. That would be a special case. And I'll put a video on that. That would be undefined number. So formally, we write this definition for rationals. You don't always have to remember it, but rationals are defined as any number that can be put into the format of a over b and this okay so this means such that so a over b such that and as we wrote there a and the way we write is an integer okay is this way notice you can use z or i and b is also an integer, but we said b cannot be equal to zero. So that is actually the formal definition. And unfortunately, it doesn't look that pretty for anyone who is just starting math. And if you want to get a better kind of intuitive understanding of what rational numbers are, okay, that's why I started with just going over how they look like. All right, I hope you found this useful. Okay, and before I end, so remember this means, okay, is an element of integers, or A is an integer for short.